Oh, I'm Ted, and welcome to my world of modelling and mayhem. Uh, make for who? Uh, well, I finally got around to finishing my log cabin model, and I hope you like it. And this is it. What's it called? Log Cabin Wilderness. Oh. I did a couple of how-to videos in the last few weeks. Yeah. Um, so, well, this is it. I hope you like it. It's colourful. So this is like a... Well, it's like a Rocky Mountain scene. Um, obviously it has to be sort of scaled down, but... I don't stick religiously to scale, but I just try to keep it... something like. So there's several automata parts. Yeah, I'll, I'll to show this. you. Yeah. So the first one's the waterfall. And that's a similar mechanism to use in the last uh, yeah. automata. Yeah. I'll take the back off when we're finished to just show how it works. But, um, there are a few features actually. Well, this one's longer, isn't it, than the other one? Well, there are two actually. Yeah, just a bit more elaborate. They join together with a couple of uh, belts. Yeah. But it looks quite nice, I think. Yeah. I showed the um, showed you how to make the trees in a previous video. Yeah. And a bit of the log cabin as well. See, the theme is there's uh, the only one who hasn't noticed there's a bear on the side is the chap with cutting the wood. The other girl in the rocking chair as well. Well, she spotted the bear, trying to point it out to her, to her dad, but he's a bit oblivious. Did that take much working out? Yes. Yeah, the, the saw, <laughs> the saw yeah. um, just right. Yeah, yeah, it did actually. But it's a library love, I've got to be honest, I love doing anything like this. It's a bit time consuming, but what would I be doing otherwise? I suppose that's half the fun, isn't it? Sussing them out as you go along. Anyone can work to a plan, can't they? Well, it's got its advantages not working to a plan, but the thing is, you find it making a few mistakes and you make it like work for yourself. Yeah. But I don't like to be tied down with plans, I just. Because no. uh, not many of the models I make actually finish with looking. Well, no, they just visit, you know. evolve as they, That's as they what go they along, evolve, they? but I preferred it that way, to be honest. I'll switch the fire on in a minute, I forgot to switch it on. Well, little bit. Fire? Yeah, the, the, the fire. And the, uh, what, in the I'll cabin? Like, yeah, I'll light the fire in a minute. This is by this chap up here, like he was... Um, what, the climber? Yeah, he's... Uh, He's putting the, dog he's him, the bear, but the dog thinks he's playing. <laughs> but he's just trying to get away, look. So I made a uh, model a few months ago, do you remember where there were little levers at the back, but you couldn't turn them all at the same time? Yeah. With this one, look, if you want to have a come have a look around now, look. Well, works. you can move these all independent of one another. It works a little bit like another. the old-fashioned type that I did remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, so that's the, um... The chap saw in the wood. This is the girl in the rocket chair. This is the chap climbing up there. So I can work them all at the same time. Yeah. You know, it took a bit of work in that, but... Is that the first time you've done something like that? Yeah. It works. Took a bit of figuring out. Now they're all connected by to the, the, the features with the um, 13 pound fishing line. But the problem is uh, the friction when you turn the corners. I've come with an idea now. I'm going to try it next. Do you know the um, small bore uh, pipes they use for plumbing? You know, um, the, what's it called? 
micro 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 something to try Well, you can they can bend them by hand apparently, and they don't kink. Yeah. So that would be ideal as a duct for the cable, so it's not going to snag. You see what I have to do here, look. So I'll just show you quickly underneath. Yeah. The ducting. Can you get under there? Have a look at that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I have to do. But if I can use something which is sort of semi-flexible, I can do it all in one. Yeah. So yeah, I, th I don't see why it shouldn't work. So I didn't realise you'd used electrics on this one for the, uh, for yeah, the fire. Yeah. Well, I thought the night time was going to be a bit more, uh, you know, realistic. Because it looks quite nice and it's quite an effective. It looks really warm looking fire, yeah. You need a fire like that, uh, winter's not in the rocket. Um, can you see the smoke? So I I think we the might, we might need the lights on for the smoke there to see it. Can you see that now? Because it's... Uh, So you've just got a little um, incense burner in the in the yeah. chimney. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's still going. I thought it'd go now. That was gushing out a couple of minutes ago. You can stop when you start filming. <laughs> you can see. You can. Can you, you see it? You can. Uh, you can just about see it. Yeah. Oh, it is now. That yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to look at the uh... inside the cabin. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the. Is that a bed there? That's the just corner? a bed, yeah. Just got a bit of a table and chair on this side here. Don't let much room to put anything else, to be honest. Do you like the fireplace there? Try to make it look it a looks bit quite more, realistic. A bit it? authentic, yeah. I suppose I got the inspiration from watching Jeremiah Johnson, you know that film I mentioned earlier on? Yeah, yeah. Uh, with, oh, with the Robert Redford, Robert Redford yeah. There's a, watching him build that log cabin, well, somebody built it. That's what inspired me tonight, this. Yeah. Did you spot the woodpecker? Over to you. Oh, like. in the, 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 the pine tree. Yeah. See him? Yeah, I can see him, yeah. <laughs> it's even got the sound effects in it, even banging the wood. Yeah, quite pleased then. And he's got his long johns drawing on the line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you spot the, oh, the, uh, uh, the rifleman round there, oh, I can that, see it. Yeah, that's what I made him originally, I showed him, yeah. It's all these from those little plastic mobs you get from to toy stores, but I altered them. I mean, originally it was a medieval knight, do you remember? Yeah, so he's basically going to yeah. shoot the bear. Yeah. That, the little girl there, see, it's the face that you can't, I, no way I could ever make a face like that. So I just altered it to be sitting down in the chair, look. Yeah. Extra, the long johns are from... The same figure. Do I think they come from? Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, or the same figure as that one. Did you spot the axe? That, yeah, I suppose you could say that's a real axe, really, because the actual no, it's like head, a steel, steel is made head of is it? The head is made of steel, and it's hardwood shaft. It's just so a, it's a real, it's a, a, real a genuine it's, axe. In it's a real miniature axe, yeah, yeah. This chap's trying to get away, but uh, he spotted the bear, but the dog thinks he's playing, look. <laughs> he can't get away, look. So what's on the uh, horizon there, then? I don't know, a break, I think. Have you had a good look? I'll show you the back. Yeah, if you want to turn it round. Yeah. yeah. I always make it so it all strips down. Yeah. I just have to uh, 
the back, look at that. So that's it basically, look. That's how it works. Just a couple of Velcros pulleys. They're brilliant now because just um, could you know um, no slip. You they, know, well, they want to just they stick to the back of each yeah. other, so. so. Yeah. But I use you know that um, non-slip stuff you put on the mats and stuff. Yeah. I also glue that on first because that gives plenty of grip. So there's no way it will ever slip with that. Just if it did it on the wood, it could possibly slip. I would need to have the belts too tight. And if they're taught, it won't turn freely like this. So yeah. when you know you've got a good grip, you can just just have a loose belt and it turns clearly. This is just the idea. Got. I think I bought a charger there. You can work them independently all together if you want to. So. It's a nice. Yeah, it's a nice, nice but this is the. Um, this is the. Uh, the fireplace. For the fireplace, yeah. It all strips down. The shame, really. So, I was going to check these out, but it's really good. Good night, nice that's just holding the pin in. Pull the pin out, and that comes. I can't take that because I haven't got any pliers in there. There's two pins there, yeah, and I could otherwise. Now we're, I need my pliers, you say. So anyway, it doesn't matter. That just comes out. And yeah. So that's it. That's so another project finished. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, it's quite pleasure in the end. Nice rocky mountain scenery. The the trees are a bit time consuming, but I just like to give that that wood effect. Yeah. Yeah. Do you hear about the two men walking through the woods? Uh, one, one got bitten on the backside by a, by a snake. He finished up breathing on the floor in agony. He'd make panic to bit and run off to the nearest town. Um, but the doctor was too busy, so he said, "What you've got to do is just get a sharp knife, cut across the wound, across the bite, then suck all the poison out and spit it out." Oh, he says, "Okay." So he rushes back to find his mate, still breathing on the floor in agony. His mate said, did you find the doctor? He said, yeah. So his mate said, well, what did he say? He said, you're going to die. <laughs> so, that's a joke for this one. So anyway, I think we're having a break now. Um, I welcome any comments. I'd like to know what, uh, what you think. Or any suggestions for the future. As long as they're not rude. <laughs> so I'll probably see it again uh, in... Probably middle of the summer, maybe about June, July, something like that. So until then, I say bye for now.